Canada is contributing 15 million Canadian dollars to this fund. And I will just very quickly echo what we've heard from everyone that I think, you know, this is a real tipping point. The political work to get a consensus around the need and the value of more women in peacekeeping has been done already. So that's really why Canada is so excited about this. It's like sometimes going the last mile um, is the hardest, but or maybe maybe it's the easiest, but it's the most important. And I think that so far that's been the piece that's been missing on having more involvement of women in peacekeeping. And I think we can all be really proud of ourselves collectively that we're actually acting to go from the political pledge to actually making it happen. The experiences that I had made me very strong because I saw myself in places that I wouldn't normally be. I saw myself talking to people that I wouldn't normally talk to. And I was privileged to be one of the first few females to be trained in Congo when the female engagement team concept started. When women or people see female peacekeepers talking, moving with men and talking to them, they, are, they, are, they open up. I don't want men to keep thinking that when we are strong, when we become strong or knowledgeable or capable, we are a competition, we are not. We are partners in development. We are partners in growing the society in which we live. We are partners in cleaning up the effect of war. It is important that we, we tell women, you can do it. We have almost doubled the number of female staff officers and observers since the Vancouver meeting. And more women are deploying in mixed police and military units. I commend everyone involved, including the Canadian government for launching the ELSI initiative for women in peace operations. <laughs>